This here is uh, our wealthy tree. Uh, buds are just starting to expand on that now. You can see a little bit of green on the tips, so we can go ahead and graft to this. This here is a branch that a nice buck uh, broke off last year. So we're going to cut this off and we're going to do a bark graft here. And we're going to put a couple honey crisps on it. Now since the weight's already taken off this branch, we don't have to make two cuts. We can just make the one cut. We want to cut underneath, preferably all the way around through the bark so it doesn't tear and then come down through and cut this off. Now I've cut this branch off uh, closer than I wanted. And the idea was it was turning out here to my left. I wanted it to go straight out because uh, I've got a branch here that goes to the right and I've got one here that comes out to the left so to align those better. Now what I'll have to do though is I will have to fence this somehow to keep the deer from eating these or breaking them off. Now this tree, you can see this green part just inside the, the bark going to the wood, your cambium layer. So we're going to do a bark graft. We're going to cut a slit and lift up that bark and, and place our scions inside those instead of a cleft. Okay, for my bark graft, I made my cut down here with my knife going in. I then slowly worked behind this bark here. Now I can put one scion behind there. And I did the same thing over here. I took my knife. I made a cut here and I slowly worked behind this bark, lifting this up and uh, put your scion right in there and then we'll wrap that up. Okay, two honey crisp scions here. Um, I got the ends prepped here. Now we'll stick them under the uh, bark. Now here I've put a rubber band just to hold those uh, scions in place. But now I'm going to fill these cracks in with wax um, on something this large instead of the uh, tree wound which is very messy. I'm going to go with the uh, tree wax and this is the wax that we'll be using today. Now on this grafting here I used the regular tree tape here. It stretches nice and tight after I uh, got that waxed up. Now I'll cut these off and I'll use a little of my parchment tape to come up these scions and uh, help protect them a little bit. All right we cut these off. We got four buds each on there. That's more than enough. Two to four. Now we'll wrap them up with the uh, parchment tape. The key here is, is just to make sure that this is sealed tight, that no air or water is going to get in there. So whether you use just tree tape, you can do that. Tree tape with some uh, tree wound over the top of it to help seal it up, or parchment tape. But as long as it's sealed and kept dry, uh, these scions will take off. Now what's nice about having some of this parchment tape, it, it's a wax tape that stretches nice. I will use that here where I've taped this to seal it up tight right here where the scions go into that. Now this thing's airtight.